Hey everyone, welcome back to Cosmical TV. So in this video, I will be outlining the content coming to update 1.2 on Xbox, PS4, and PC on February 18th. After making my latest video, the devs announced more of the content coming in the update. So be sure to check out my latest video to stay up to date on all the content coming to Hunt Showdown. I will link the video down in the description. Starting today, update 1.2 is out on the test server only on PC but will fully release on all systems on February 18th. Included in the update will be four new melee weapons, anti-boss camping mechanics, an offline single-player training mode, and a new DLC bundle. Stick around for all the details regarding update 1.2. Four of the new melee weapons announced are the heavy knife, the knuckle knife, the pitchfork, and the shovel. Starting with the heavy knife, the Heavy Knife is a larger and more intimidating version of the regular knife tool. The Heavy Knife sits comfortably in between the knife and the machete. Its light swing will drop any grunts in one hit, while its heavy swing is more aimed at taking down hunters. The Knuckle Knife essentially combines the standard knife and dusters, which allows you to have the power of piercing damage and blunt damage all in one tool. The Pitchfork is a weapon you can find in the world. It can be seen as a spear of sorts, as you can stab straight outwards with its heavy swing. It is also capable of being thrown like a javelin if you have the tomahawk perk equipped. The last melee weapon is the shovel. It's another weapon found scattered through the swamps. The shovel can be used as a blunt weapon with a heavy overhead downward attack, or as a rendering weapon using a light swing from side to side, which will cause your target to bleed. Another feature coming in this update is anti-boss camping mechanics. This feature released to the PC test server some months ago, causing divisiveness among players. However, the devs have been busy at work tweaking this feature. Basically, it will work similar to how clues currently alert you to the presence of nearby players, except this ability will only be available in dark sight around boss layers. When approaching a boss layer, if you are within 50 meters and check dark sight, you will hear two forms of whispering. One form is a calmer version flashing white, indicating no players within the boss layer while the other is louder and flashes red in dark sight, thus giving you a clue that there are indeed players nearby. I believe this is a great addition to the game and will overall add to the dynamics of Hunt Showdown. No more will you get killed by people camping on a non-banished boss. Now switching gears, the devs have announced a new offline single player training mode. This mode will allow you to roam the southwest part of the Stillwater Bayou map, while allowing for an instant respawns if you die, this mode will be seen as a sort of tutorial mode. The devs have said they will not be counting this as the shooting range feature that they have been working on. The shooting range will be a separate mode coming later this year. Now finally to end the video, the devs have announced that they will be releasing a DLC bundle dedicated to aiding in the wildfire relief in Australia. All profits from this DLC pack will go towards the Wires Wildlife Organization. Thank you all for watching till the end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and remember to like and subscribe for more Hunt Showdown content in the future. See you in the next one.